Like, oh, he might be a little bit hesitant on the uh, Palio because Palio Squirtle is an in, in, annoying match. It might be an understatement. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I might have to consult my notes, aka Hydra, um, on how that matchup goes. But I wouldn't, you know, small characters, she's not on hand of. Oh, there we go. Squirtle starting out with big damage already. Down throw into this back air. Squirtle putting in that work. But that Mark's is, finally finding that hit. That's where Palatina goes. Is you get clipped by an air and then all that hard work. So you just get to watch it. Watch yourself t uh, put put into a cutscene. You're in that. You're in that corner. You messed up the quick time event, and you have to pay the price. Oh, oh now catch that switch there. Mark is looking pretty good right now. Setting Beast into the advantage state off stage. Jump too. Great switch to get out of the the, the uh, frame trap. This thing coming out from Mark is looking for the punish here. Beast trying to catch his Palutena here with the Nair. All right, a little, little four glory in the corner. Some rolls. Ill advised, maybe. Ooh, the back here coming yeah. out again. It, 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 that's where Marcus really excels. Is that like he's, he always puts himself in a position that like he, he knows where he can capitalize on player habits. Like we saw there, he, he he floated out, knowing that like players are gonna want to press that shiny jump button um, to, to to jump around you and you know reversal. But speaking of you know shiny buttons. He missed that. He missed the clicky R and got punished with that jab lock. Very good stuff to be taking that F tilt into tech chase combo. Look for the uh, water gun once again, but now the yeah. big punish with the back throw from Marcus. Look for his ledge trap here again. This down throw putting in so much work at the ledge. Down throw into a back air once again. Oh, oh wow! Really what a swing playing. off that. He actually hesitated a bit so you can kind of sni uh, um, snag it from the from higher to not get clipped by the explosive flame. That was a good micro adaptation. Beast looking for the pressure. Oh, oh, he wanted to pop that shield. Oh, but oh, oh, oh no, and said he's popping the party, Politana. Golly. Marcus with the negative punish on that. That's so tragic. He's getting Bro, away with them. murder. Oh, catching the jump there with the Nair once again. He's trying to make his way back with the Zara. Forward air from ledge, the tried and true. You can find it's a fourth throw of the swords. Well, like Toy Story 1. Oh, my gosh. Sending him all the way outwards. Marcus is not able to punish that fly with the Nair and oh, that have to wow. with the two frame. Good stuff from Beast. And that's the thing, like you can't like do like a buffer roll or jump because he has the percent and the positioning to punish it. So if he, you jump from ledge, jump, he jump fares. If you roll up, he just all smashes out of shield. It's not, you don't want to be in that position. You just have to like hey. hope that your neutral get up's happening as he's as his forward tilt's ending. Back here coming up from the portal once again. Throwing out that Nair, very good stuff. Now Marcus for immediately going back into the mix with his own Nairs. 70% on this Palatina, so not looking very good, but still definitely in this game. Beast looking for that two frame, but a huge spacing around that ledge for Marcus. Double dash tag, the classic Palutena chases him down there. Tether cancels, but now he has no options. Oh my oh, god. Oh, now no. you know what? You can't even blame Marcus for going for that, because, you know, he was kind of at that percent where like, you're fighting uh, a lower percent Zard. And you're at like an equally high percent yourself, um, so it, at any chance you can take to uh, to get rid of you know trainer stock before the ball gets rolling is one that you know wouldn't be too ill-advised to take. Oh yeah, definitely. So Marcus keeping that glass game relatively close, signing the lead with most of the time, but now Beast holding out, using that scroll for that big damage on Palutena, and just staying, keeping sticking to his gun, playing around that neutral game, just avoiding this Beast, and there we go, the Squirtle combos, like I said. 20% also a little bit, but now going up even more. All right. Does stuff him out with that forward air. Yeah, but that's that's the thing is like, you know, Squirtle, he has to immediately be, in, like his, his drive bubble, while, you know, while you can move it around so fast, it's so small. Um, and, and that's where you get like, as a player, you know, as a character with vastly superior range, um, you have to go, you know, play around that correctly. Wow. Close of Flame coming out again for Marcus. 160% on Beast, trying to make his way back. Getting caught with the grab. Yep, tries to classic. Tried in true tail of getting off the ledge against Palutena. And Beast is absolutely stuck in the Paralog, bro. It's just tragic. Taking yeah, that Beast, first dog, very good stuff to, to Marcus. Not letting himself get to his head. Doing an even better job on these, these, uh, these punishes. That jump there again with the Nair. Now Beast fighting that back throw with the Squirtle. Even more done with this water gun. 
Not find that down smash just yet. Mark is playing so patiently at the ledge. Find that get out attack. Won't see much off of this explosive flame. There we go. I, I love the switch into the immediate jump down here because that puts so much pressure. And that's such a hard read that you have to Oy. make it. Oh my gosh! He flips it on his head! Golly, very good stuff to Topsy there. turvy. I didn't know we were watching, uh, what is it, Nalamar or Ink Inkling? I forget, I forget that Pokemon's name. Oh, now Beast is evening up the stock count, still down 104%. Trying to make this back there with this. Up air? High sword combo could bring this damage back up for him. And bring he waits on that. But there's what I was saying earlier with these floating, uh, these floating characters, uh, these floating means like using their, you know, their, their slow falling properties to kind of just wait, wait out, and um, play the, the game of chicken that is trying to, you know, reset to stage. Oh, there we go, wow. catching the teleport there, the two frames, and Beast being down a whole 100 percent brings it all the way back to his favor. But Marcus he is Marcus. also sitting at one at 141 now, so it's, you know, not quite out of the woods yet. This, this is charged up with max rage. You've got to be careful here. Yeah, uh, uh, one back throw in here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's not gonna take it just yet. Wanting to pop this, this shield. Goes There's no it. candy in there. All there is getting tech chased on platform. Get away, my, our valiant PA hero. <laughs> Down throw to forward air coming out again now. Checks him with a forward air of his own. Forward tilt coming out again for Beast, but more of this pressure. On to Marcus, catching that jump with the squirtle back air. Do we see more of the point? No, nice. I love that drift mix up. He made it look like he so wanted to get on that platform, he drifted all the way back to the uh, back to the corner. Oh, yeah. going for that down air. Instead of getting him with the down air. Wow. Oh, golly. And times that. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> I, I hear Lyric in the background saying, Joel cheated. <laughs> and the thumbs up. Joel is a cheeser at heart, cheeser in our heart.